The silent eclipse, the creator has forgotten. Him has returned. Activate the Narita Boy protocol. Narita Boy protocol activated. Same time on the outskirts of Old York. Turn off that little machine and go straight to bed, or tomorrow I'm giving it back to your father. That's all you need to spend all day glued to a screen. Go to sleep now. Meow, 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 meow. Soothing glow. Fucking A, brother. Arrival in the Digital Kingdom. Hero Summit. Look at this frickin' art style, though. Hey, how's it going? I'm blue. Kind of. Actually, kind of grayish. <laughs> kind of gray, actually. How you doing there? So, um... Hell yeah, dude. I got one walk speed, it's fine. It's fine, I can forgive these things. Hey buddy, what's going on? Just in time, Narita boy. The flag we programmed with the call hero function gave us some wiggle room to assemble this switch and force your entry through segments of old code. This region is barely controlled by the hacker knots. You can travel through it with some confidence, but proceed with caution. Him and his hacker knots, fucking wonderful word, his hacker knots are tirelessly running through lines of code to try and find you. Me? Little old me? I am the one? Finally! Again. Again, again. I'm always the one. I'm so tired of being the one, goddammit. Could I be the five every once in a while? Pressing this button will open the door. Inside, waiting for you, is a holographic module of Motherboard, protective mother of us, and all the programs in the Digital Kingdom. Will she be played by the same actress in the third movie? Here's hoping. She's in the capital of the Digital Kingdom, sustaining the trichroma, overseeing code, closing breaches, and fixing bugs. Since the arrival of the Stallions, the Digital Kingdom's code has been unstable. The Trichroma beat the Trichroma Beam, too. Open the door. Talk to Motherboard. Display information. Sick. Is that not the button? Power-ups. Aww. Alright, open door. Fucking objective get! I'm winning! I'm winning the game, everybody. Ooh. Very nice. Are we done chat? I keep on trying to move with the D-pad, just throwing it out there. I hope these dudes that we end up calling with the D-pad are some serious fucking dudes because, man, I'm giving up m m my precious. And, like I say, if you're gonna take away my precious, you better fucking make it worth my while. Although, from the outset, it seems like maybe that might be the case. I'll uh, catch you boys later. Or... Or... 
Is that a walking stick? Yo. I like this place. That's a good place. I can see why they chose it. Ah, uh, left stick. Oh. Yamp. Dude. Look at the, the look at the look at look look you know what I'm looking you know what I'm trying to point out. Look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. And bespoke. And then you land. And there's different effects. It's so pretty. Wow. I love me some whelms. Hmm. Jump's a little sensitive. Hmm. All right. Cave of the Trichroma. I would like to walk into this place, but it ain't having it. I gotta run. Aye. This is a pre-recorded message for the true instance digital hero, Narita Boy. I am Motherboard, supervisor program of the Digital Kingdom. I was designed line by line by the creator, and my source code emanates from the architectural core of the Trichroma. I was once of the first sentient program I was one of the first sentient programs they awoke in the Digital Kingdom. If you're listening to this message, that means you've received our call and have decided to come to our aid. Welcome. Not exactly. I mean, from this dude's perspective, from my perspective, definitely yes. From this guy, I don't know if he had much of a say in that. But I am looking at what's going on now as opposed to just reading the text. And now that I've started looking at what's going on, my goodness. My goodness. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Okay. All right. Have you seen the main weapon in this fucking game? Yeah, it is. We all know what it is. It's a, it's a goddamn No More Heroes ripoff. That's all this game is. That original, original work that all else is based off of. What you see is the visual metaphor of the Trichroma, the beam that emanates from its core and the three rays that rise up from our kingdom's source code. Each beam has a definite function and occupies a specific region of the kingdom. Each beam is a computational entity that creates a system of programs around it. System is the word I struggled with in that sentence for some reason. These systems are called the houses of the Trichroma, and there are three of them, just as there are three creator beams. The Yellow House Beam, a region of code that spans the desert simulation. The Blue House Beam, the regions of the Eternal Rains and the Blue Simulation. Eternal Rains, you say? And finally, the Red House, the last level, the hard one, the break your goddamn controller and wish for death area that you fucking dreamed of. The most powerful and disruptive house of all. Disruptive. The Red House Beam is the powerful equilibrium that supports the Trichroma architecture. But him, the supervisor program that used to manage the data dump, lost his mind and betrayed us. He craved supremacy over the Red House. We defeated him, and he was expelled from the Red Beam along with other programs known as Stallions. But they've returned, Narita Boy, which is why we've called upon you. We need a hero. <laughs> who can wield the Techno Sword, the only blade forged with Trichroma Beams, able to destroy Stallion Code. 
you must go to the Techno Father's Castle. There, the sup they they are they are the supervisor programs who forged the Techno Sword. You must claim it from them and free us from the Stallion Menace. But that is not all we ask. Him has inflicted still more damage. Yeah, right. See you later. Chamber of the Broken Memory. Cool. Pretty badass Lord Vader looking motherfucker. You're kind of a whole bunch of things, ain't you? I do. A little bit Darth Vader, a little bit uh, Tim Curry and Legion, a little bit Tron. Hey, Asno, what's going on, dude? Did I ever play The Fall? No. No, I have not. Don't know if that seems familiar or not. Don't know if I've heard of that one. What kind of game is it? Hey there, fella. Ain't you delightful? This is him, the sorcerer. There are some who call him Tim. <laughs> Our old supervisor, brother from the House of the Red Beam. He's caused huge destruction. Disruption, not disruption. Disruption, disruption, disruption. Disruption. <clears throat> Motherboard will explain everything. You have a holographic console with a double ansible to contact her. I know what an an what an ansible is. I will use that. Whenever you find a holographic console, you can communicate with Motherboard. What's more, the encryption is sufficiently complex to prevent hims, hackernauts, from being able to tap into your dialogue flow. <laughs> tap into me dialogue flow. Listen to the fucking chops on this lad. What have you been watching? What books have you been reading? Oh, you talk twice, do you? I can hear about him till my heart's content. Alright. I don't want to touch it, it's pretty. Hi, guy. Oh, I see. I see what's happening. Got a very vaguely Dr. Robotnik vibe about you. This is Dr. Rob Robotnik before he lost the, like, the joy of humanity in his heart was extinguished one day. This was like Robotnik in the 60s. Back when he knew how to have a good time, before whatever part of him was crushed that caused him to turn into such a bastard. Immense sorrow runs through my code, seeing how the first of the creator's 13 memories has been destroyed. This demolished totem gives access to the creator's memories. The creator placed them in different parts of the kingdom as a security measure. If something were to happen to the creator, the digital hero would be able to immerse himself in his memories to reactivate the digital kingdom's passive memory and thus keep the source code updated. It's a long sentence. Now we need them, because him has erased the- Is this, like, me da and- I feel like I'm talking to me ma and she just won't mention his name. Or sorry, I'm talking to me ma about me da and she just won't mention his name. I'm getting that kind of a vibe about it. Is this a very fancy- uh, Like, it is, isn't it? Isn't that what everything is? Everything is, I'm fucking teenage boy from a fucking broken home, and this is my fantasy realm! Yeah! I'm gonna ride a dragon to the Techno Kingdom and fight a fucking evil bastard because he made me go to bed when I didn't want to go to bed. I mean, because he wants to enslave the kingdom. <clears throat> and destroy the handsome prince. <clears throat> <clears throat> Not that I would know anything about that kind of thing. <clears throat> now we need them because him has erased the creator's memories, the 13 that make up his meta neuronal network. The creator can't remember. 
The creator did a lot of acid in the 60s. The creator has also forgotten that he sustains this kingdom. And because he is forgetting... And because he is forgetting and the equilibrium in the trichroma threatens to fail, him and his stallions have once again invaded us. Are the stallions like his middle age, his, his midlife crisis group of friends that he hangs around with? How he managed to erase his memories, we don't know. It's a mystery that maybe you'll solve as you travel through them. You'll be a psychonaut and a hero. But remember, if the creator permanently forgets, the digital kingdom will be lost. Him will control the powerful red beam, subjugating us to his darkest desires. The trichroma will be destabilized, and we'll be under his rule. He'll make us go to bed at a reasonable hour, and stop smoking weed. Even if you kill thousands of stallion programs, remember that only the creator can totally eliminate the stallion code that is gradually appearing in thousands of lines of source code. You need to find the twelve remaining totems, piece together their code, and journey within them. Only by unlocking them can the creator retrieve his memory. So hurry! Oh, one last thing. Son of the Trichroma. It's not possible to travel to the first memory through this broken totem, but you don't have to retrieve it. The twelve remaining memories are sufficient for the creator to remember. Oh? Not possible to travel to the first through this. Have to. Don't have to. Are you sure? Are you 100% positive? Because I'm going to hold you to this. I'm going to hold you to this little tidbit of information you're dropping on me. You're the motherboard, okay? You've no reason to distrust you at all. At all. At all. Alright. You've got this. But you should know that there are five backup floppy disks in the Digital Kingdom. If you find them, you can rebuild this first totem. Oh, well then, everything I said was a moot point. Never mind. He will be eternally grateful to you if you manage to retrieve his first memory too. All right, all 100%. God, twist my arm, why don't you? All righty. <laughs> The hacking skits they do on Critical Role when they get sponsored by a VPN. <laughs> All of a sudden, the topic of conversation changes and shifts suddenly. In a very natural... natural and humanistic way. Yes, yes, I obey. I must kill the queen. I must kill the queen. But not right now. First we, first we Narita boy. Then we regicide. Oh wow. The gallery of the Cosmo Visions. Yeah, I'm gonna be having some visions. Holy shit, dude, speaking of fucking visions. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what, what psychological, psychological chicanery was pulled on me, but I swear to God, I closed my eyes last night trying to go to sleep and all I could see was fucking Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth. Record of Lotus War, man. I was, I, but it wasn't even the game. It was just a Metroidvania in my fucking head. I would see when I closed my eyes. I have never had that happen with a game before where I just close my freaking eyes and it's like all I see is that fucking game or a variation on it. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? I can't sleep to this. It was weird. It's very weird. Good fun though. Good handling on that game. How you doing? You are a very interesting individual indeed. I see you're not the only interesting thing in the, in the room, but sure, we'll get to that when we get to that. Are these these uh, Cosmo Visions I've heard so much about? I'm betting they are. I'm betting they are. I've already bought it, Asno. I've already bought it. Listened to it this morning, I did. It's yeah, it's pretty fucking good, man. It's pretty goddamn good. We ain't chatting. You seem absorbed. 
shall we say. That is one hell of a CRT. I bet you play a lot of Smash Brothers, don't you? Do you have any light guns? I wanna play point blank. I wanna play point blank on a fucking 90 foot CRT. This thing must weigh more than a fucking neutron star. Jesus Christ. How much does this fucking thing set you back? It's impressive is what it is. Good lord. I mean, I saw an 88 inch once. In a magazine. I, I can't imagine how much that thing fucking weighs. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised we haven't got things orbiting the fucking thing. Good lord. Holy jeez. Okay, that was a bit unnecessary. Holy Christ. He's breaking out. Such vibes, man. You have a 90 foot CR TV, you'll be seeing some goddamn Cosmovisions, I can guarantee it. Narita boy, we haven't introduced ourselves. My brother programs and I are agents of the capital. Motherboard coded us to move through the digital kingdom investigating the mysteries of our kingdom's source code. We also help any program in the digital kingdom adjust its code where necessary. Okay. Not too sure I vibe with that particular sentence, but I guess we'll read on and hope for the best. I wanted to warn you about the simple but malicious stallion script that surges up from the ground. Is that him right there? Jump and dodge it, but don't try to destroy it. We don't know why, but this code has infinite layers of complexity that renders it indestructible. So spikes then, yeah? All right. Um. Oh. Oh. But why? Why would you tell me that? Access to binary pastors. God damn. We could have just had spikes, but oh no. Oh no. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Techno sheep. Pet the techno sheep. I pushed all the buttons, you cannot pet the Techno Sheep. Techno Sheeps? Actually, I believe it's Techno Sheepses. Hi. Ah yes, you'll need a Techno Key to go through this door. These monoliths are encrypted slots. Inside them is an age-old program, as ancient as Motherboard. An old woman known as Baba, who, by the way, is very pleasant. All the programs of this region know her, and she'll safeguard anything that is entrusted to her. Help the Tecto Fathers and the Priests of the Portal. I... Visit Baba. Hashtag access to Baba's cave. Pet the Tecno Sheeps. Banks of the Acromatopsia River. Acromatopsia. Acromatopsia. Boids. Beats. Ambiance. Can I die? 
I can. Yeah! Fucking A, brother. What the fuck? <laughs> rest in force. Rest. I, I'd prefer to rest in farce, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. Did you see the beautiful animations for when I died? Look at this. I'm like the T. I'm like I'm like the T1000 over here. Why didn't you buy the soundtrack? Now you have to pay slightly more than you would have had to if you just bought it in the Kickstarter, you fool. Kickstarter, you fool. Now you're down two or three, perhaps four, maybe five, maybe even seven euro. Probably not, though. Probably not. No, I didn't buy the fucking OST. Uh, look, look, it's... I've learned my lesson, okay? I have learned my lesson. I buy the soundtracks now. This was seven years ago. What happened? I wasn't paying attention. Get hold of the Techno Sword. Find the creator's totems and journey inside his memories. Visit Baba. I know all of this stuff. <laughs> Is it the actual Killer Instinct? It's not the Killer Instinct announcer. It might be. Very reminiscent. Hey, buddy, we're not going to be friends, are we? Cool. Oh, baby. Hoo ha! Oh, that's back. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Yo. Are we looking? Are we seeing? I know we is. I'm going to be doing a fair amount of basking. I feel. Still need a goddamn walk button, though. Fwaum. Fwaum, fwaum. Hall. To the point, I like it. Techno Hall. You've got a very pretty place. A very pretty place. Narita boy, access to the underground garden is restricted. You'll find the access techno key in the higher levels of the castle. What do you mean in the higher levels of the castle? I need a weapon for Christ's sake. There's bad boys out there. They're gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck me seven ways from Sunday. Come on, man, give me a fucking techno sword. I need to protect myself here. Do. I'm hopping mad. To the higher rooms. Tis a hefty button. Twon't be breaking any time soon, I tell thee. What if I do it again? Ah. Oh. Fucking hell. Now this is a goddamn LAN party, baby. This is some Batman Forever type LAN partying bullshit. This is your mind on the box. This is your mind on the box. This is my mind on the box. Does anybody else feel like a fried egg? Nice hoodie. I could never get that look. My head is huge. No, no HUDs will go over it. 
Except for my one surfer hoodie. But that gives me electric shocks all the time, so... You know. Ebbs, peaks and valleys, baby. Peaks and valleys. Hello. Welcome, Narita boy. The Techno Sword awaits you. We forged it the day the stallions were expelled from the, from the Digital Kingdom. We told ourselves that if they ever returned, we would need all the concentrated power of the Trichroma to stand up to them. Ah yes, concentrates. Indeed. I hear you. And of course, a very special hero from beyond the source code to wield it. I feel like I've been buttered up something fierce. I feel like I've been set up for a fall here. At the end of the hall, now fall. Take the other elevator that will lead you to the Techno Sword. Alright. Building up this fucking Techno Sword, I tell you. Well, very much looking forward to it. It's a whole lot of goddamn beam interfaces. Gives a new meaning to Techno Sword. What is it? <laughs> See if they take constructive criticism. I will not. I'll not be hearing any critique. My eyeballs are far too in love. Jesus, fuck! Okay. The colors, man. The colors. Jesus. So many colors. What's up? Okay. Alright then. Okay. This is... Alrighty. Staircase. Damn this game. Pretty sure Bill and Ted are God here. Pretty sure. I'm fine with this. Very, very fine with this. Catch him. All of the Techno Sword. Hell yeah, baby. Yep, yep. This is how you praise a goddamn Techno Sword. I'm gonna do the thing. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for me to do the thing? I'm the fated hero, yo. Let me let me hear a hey y'all. Yeah, right. Press X repeatedly. Yes, sir. And or madam. I was not done grooving.
Okay, I see. Oh, that shotgun sounds good. Oh, that is some fucking PlayStation Doom shotgun gunning right there. Oh, my. Not quite as chunky, but it's not supposed to be. You know what I mean? That's the home run. Is there more than that, or is that the peak? Okay. Cool. Look at him turn around. Who said that? Who said it? Who said it? Who said it? Who wants a piece? Who wants a little? Who wants a piece of the goddamn techno sword? I got a techno sword, you bastards! Who wants some? It goes boom, boom, boom. Fantastic. All right, I'm a happy camper. Look how much faster I am. I'm kind of upset by that. Now I'm even faster. Now I'm going to run past all of this beauti beautiful beauteousness. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, R2 is the shotgun. Good shit. What up? Tower of the Sacred Tori. That was a little weird. Shotgun slash Ultra Beam. Press once to activate shotgun or hold for Ultra Beam. Each of these attacks, you know, whatever. Ultra Beam! Narita family? Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps these are the heroes of ages past? Something along those lines? It is quite satisfying, isn't it? That one's not too bad, neither. I died. Never mind. Oh, okay. Howdy, folks. This Tory station houses downloadable packages used to enhance qualities of the hero program. You'll find them throughout your adventure. You'll need them to progress and become strong. So strong. So very strong. The dodge. LB, use dodge to escape offensive attacks. Use it in the air to cover more distance. Are you really married to me using the LB button? Quiet, James. I'm learning, goddammit. Now I'm learning. Make me play a 2D game on, a, on an analog stick. It's rough, okay? I'm doing my best. Now they're gonna make me dodge with the LB button? What the fuck is the world coming to? Oh god. Analog stick. I use the analog stick to move. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Oh, hi. Jumping's a little floaty. Feel like I can I can get used to it though. Totem room. Son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem. As you know, you must penetrate the creator's memories. 
Every time you release a memory, it will return to the creator. Meditate in the mists in the mists of the code and connect to the creator's onyric flow. When you connect, the totem will open and allow you to visit the Hall of Memories. Hi. Hey, Osiris, what's going on, dude? Indeed, James, we got a Discord. It is a Discord. It is free to join. Upon clickage of the linkage. I'm the 8th? I can, I can deal with the 8th. I'd rather be the 7th. I think. 7's my lucky number. Or one of them, apparently. According to numerology. Which is either true or not. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Rest repeatedly to meditate. I feel so very zen. Can I do it again? No, but that didn't stop something else from happening. But how are you, Osiris? What's going on, dude? Oh. Son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem, as you know. Oh. You're over here telling me the same thing, are you? All right. Adequate? I feel you, man. I feel you. It's been that kind of a year and a half. Oh, okay. Thought that was a platform. Everything is vaguely creator shaped. Hi. Dude, look at my goddamn reflection. Everything has a reflection. Space Baby. Hey there, Space Baby. How you doing? Been a while. Shut up, Craig. Please and thank you. Some of DMs I could be fucking thrown directly out of them as well. Bye, Cracky. My vibes. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. I don't need to run. I do. My name is Lionel Pearl Nakamura. That is a name. I was born in Narita, a city located in the prefecture of Chiba in Japan. They say that the summer I came into the world was a very hot one, and the sand of the Kik... How do you fucking pronounce that? Kikadas? Kik sh shikadas? Is it shikadas? I've been pronouncing it wrong my entire life. I finally heard Tony Schiavone, I think it was, on AEW commentary mention them. Shikadas, is it? Cicadas? Cicadas? Cicadas. Particularly resonating. But I don't remember that. Chicaca. <laughs> it is not correct, but it is fun to say.
nor do I remember that my father was American. A Geiko Kujin, and that apparently on that day he was particularly troubled by his work. Howdy, Pops. Nice trucker cap. But there's one thing I do remember. An intense light and a voice emanating from it. A gentle voice that sung me a lullaby. I remember my mother among patches of color. A mosaic of shapes intoning sounds from a faraway dimension. Mommy. The dimension of mom. The momshin. Level select. Is it James? Wait, it was, was it James? No, Craig. It was Craig who said that. Craig! <laughs> Sorry, James, you got caught in the crossfire there, but... Level select indeed. Jesus Christ, Narita boy, relax. Find the access techno key to the underground garden. All right then. Skull code. Eat the shit, the boy. Oops. Oh, he corrected. Bada bing. Did I do good, you weirdos? Yeah, right. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh, what the fuck? I have to dodge. I have to dodge across. I have to dodge. It's the LB button. LB. I pressed RB. I pressed RB instead of LB because that's the button it should be. Hi, I'm here now. What up? Calculus 3. I was never good at calculus. I did a thing. What thing did I do? Here, brother. This is the access techno key to our garden. Once in the garden, contact the quantum meditator. He has a techno key that you'll need. Okie dokie. I obey. Take the opportunity to meditate with him. Transcending at his side and walking the paths of the Trichroma in the light of his luminous code is one of the greatest experiences the Digital Kingdom has to offer. Alrighty. Do I walk right or left to do that? Go down into the garden and track down the Quantum Meditator. Alrighty. These are all fantastic, fantastic objectives. I love turning around in this game. Who said that? Who said it? Isn't this the garden? All right, I guess it ain't. Hmm. 
No, guess not. All right, back to the left we go. I feel like this is not the right way. Hey, could you open the thing again? I kind of feel like that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. How to meditate. Hmm. All right. I'm a little confused about where the hell I'm supposed to go. Go down into the garden and track down the quantum meditator. Okay. I'm gonna go back. You fool! Where the hell am I supposed to go? <laughs> am I the biggest fucking doofus? Do I have to save? Why is the icon in the top right hand corner? Is that prompting me to save? Is that what I was supposed to have done? I'm very confused. Very confused. Go down into the garden. Where the fuck is the garden, man? I feel like it doesn't make any sense that you're sending me through the, uh, oh god. Okay, so I can't get back in there. I don't understand where I'm supposed to go. Do I have to go back through the tutorial section? I mean, I guess it's the only place I have to go. Do I save? Do I save here? Garden was at the entrance of the building? I feel like I'm supposed to save. There's a floppy disk in the top right hand corner. Is that just the key that I have? I think it is. Just checking, just making sure. There's probably literally an area we went through called the garden, but I just can't remember because I was too busy idling the goddamn backgrounds. Okay. The b beds. I see. Beds. Yay. Baboom. I guess I'm going the right way. Now 
nuts. Yay! All right. Not doing too hot, but it could be. It could be worse. Fuck that staircase. All right. Howdy, folks. Everything good here? Mm, certainly seems to be in order. Hoo-ha! Back, huh? Something I maybe should have noticed by now. Is that a platform below me? This is a platform. It's a platform. Why is this platform here? I can't get out of it. Okay, Narita Boy is a little bit twitchy. He's a little bit twitchy. Oh, I can't... I can't dash off of ledges? Yes, I can. I am now dead. I will! Thank you! Yeah, I'll find it, James. Now, now that I'm actually encountering enemies and whatnot, I'm fairly confident I'm going the right way. Frame drops, yo. Dang. Gotta love the look of this game. Oh, I pushed a button. We're doing things. God damn it. Dude, can I do dash attacks? I do. I have a dash attack. He does a little spin before he does it. Hell yeah. Or does he? Yeah, no, he does. He does different attacks depending on whether or not I'm pressing a, dire a direction. Dude. Oh my god. He has a down attack. Hmm. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, let's fucking calm the fuck down. Okay, so I can't start the, I can't start the charge for the um, the big swing while I'm in the air. It's a little upsetting. It happens though. F 
fan freaking tastic. Hoo ha ha! Bleed. You wait till I get my double jump. I know it's coming too. I stand in this beam of light. Whew. Okay, I was just checking. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey guy. Don't suppose you could do me a solid, could you? Get the access techno key to Baba. Access to Baba's cave. Are you Baba? I have a techno key, I think. Get the access techno key to Baba. Visit Baba. Let let me visit Baba, please. Okay. All right then. Huh. Ah, uh, I will be back soon. I guess. Help me. No. Good range on that sucker. The knockback is real. The knockback is a real thing. Okay. Okay. Trying to do precision platforming here, which I'm usually kind of good with. But the aforementioned situation with the D-pad... Kind of getting in the way of that. A little bit. This button does not work. I had to check. I had to know. Son of a bitch, I jumped! Rest in force. I will. Thank you. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Hmm. Damn it. Alrighty. Dodge that, did you? You get hit by that spike. Dirty, rotten. I got no good excuse. What in the freaking hell am I supposed to do? 
access the underground garden. Walked straight past you, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Probably jumped straight past you. Yeah, probably jumped straight past you. Like a damn fool. Oops, a fucking doodle. Get ready. Where's the fucking door? Ooh. All right, this will do. Hi. Three algorithmic altars must be activated. This triad, as powerful as the trichoma itself, will activate the transcriber of the symbols. This machine, created by the agents of the capital, allows you to transcend to other regions of the code using the power of the transcendent symbols. We call them jump patterns. Take a good look at the trichoma's fundamental symbols, the metaphoric expression of its beautiful code. There are always three, remember, three. One for each beam. Okie dokie. I understood most of what you said. I am the hero you wished for. Mate, your techno sheeps are broken. Are they fast traveling? I mean, I suppose it beats being Bruntlefly, but I mean, it's still not ideal. I banished your techno sheeps. Oh, what? What? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I have an after image. Of course I do. It's CRT burn in. Are you a platform? You are a platform. Good to know. Got some Digi Dagaba vibes going on. Hello. Every time he claps his hands, I think Philip Seymour Hoffman in Punch Drunk Love. What's up, Itchy? Would you... There we go. This garden is pure inspiration. Cycles of stress? Fragments of anxiety? Are you writing unstable code? Then come down here. Connect to the computer and flow. The best lines of code in all the digital kingdom have been written right here. Cool. <gasps> Techno buddy. Look at him happen. Later, Techno Bun. Hey, I know where that is. water? I'm pretty sure it's water. It's water. Fuck. 
Fast travel. Of course I did, James. Would be a kind of a shitty move on my part, would it not be? <laughs> no, you can't. Did they have DMs on Steam? I didn't even realize they had DMs on Steam. Why? All oh, right, to abuse people who killed you in online games. I I understand. I understand. Did I activate the thing? I guess I I, I guess I activated the thing. Was there a reason for me doing that, or just the smug self satisfaction of it all? I guess so. That was close. Well, that's not an actual attack. Hmm. Interesting. Backup floppy disk found. All right. Now what? Into the garden to track down the quantum meditator. Alright. Alright. Is this all that's in here? Really? Okay. Alright then. Um. I guess I'll go back this way then. Cool. The fucking hell do I do now, you weird game? Went to the garden, tracked down the quantum meditator. Didn't I do that? I guess I didn't do that. Are you the quantum meditator? Would you like to interact in any way, shape, or form? I would. That's. Are you the quantum meditator? How about yourself? 
You look very, very meditative. What with the techno sheeps and whatnot. Counting sheeps. You're counting sheeps. I get the joke. I got there in the end. Thank you, DualShock 4, for your unwanted interaction with the situation. Hmm. What the bloody hell do I do? This is the garden. Track down the quantum mediator. Meditator. Apparently not you. I mean, it might be you, but I can't interact with you at all. Oh, wait. I thought that might wake him up. That is water. Still and always. What up, dude? Go down into the garden. Track down the quantum meditator. I'm in the garden. I am in the garden. You are here? I cannot interact. God damn it! Hello. You are here. I can't interact. I don't do nothing though. Eh. <sighs> What I do? I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. What am I? What am I supposed to do? What? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I am in the garden. Are you the quantum meditator? There is no way to find out. What did I do here? What did I do here? I activated all three of these dealies. That activated something which I believe is above me? I think? Oh hey, I can- oh, I can climb this? Is there anything else I can climb that maybe I haven't noticed? If there is, I ain't seen it. God damn it, techno sheep. You're looking at a damn fool. You're right to look down on me, for I is a damn fool. But I'm here now, so get out of the fucking way, will you? Hi, guy. Um, are you the quantum meditator? Oh god. Um... Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, confirm. Huh. 
Is the answer in the pattern? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. Ah. I see. Uh, circle. Predator. Circle. Okay. Uh, circle. Predator. Circle. Hey! I has a brain! It has function. Limited, but present. Funky. Oh god. Sup. How you doing? <laughs> what I, what 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 I do? Okay. Can you feel the trichroma in every pixel of your idle state? We are nothing more than lines of etheric code in a non-space, non-time continuum. We are our computation, eternal inputs and outputs, a light that goes out, a flag that activates. Here, this is the techno key that will open the entrance to Baba's cave. She's also a great meditator, as patient as time itself. She always knew you would come and has lived thousands of iterations in deep meditation. Sometimes I feel her code flowing through circadian functions. Please give her my regards. Get the access techno key to Baba. I can do this. Pretty sure. Just gonna stand here for a little bit though. Drinking these here vibes. Yeah, right. Kind of disappointed we didn't have like a little Matrix Revolutions type thing going on, but okay. Go off the left side of the screen, come back on the right side. Kind of expected it. Ah, perhaps I'm glad my expectations have been subverted. I'm gonna leave now. See you later. Where is Baba? Cool down on that dash is fairly chunky. That was Baba. Visit Baba. None of you are Baba, are you? Are you Baba? No. Kind of figured. Bop. Are you Baba? I'm guessing no. 
Ba-da-bum-bum, doo-doo-doo, ba-da-dun, da-da-da-dun. You will buy the soundtrack. You will buy the soundtrack. Why didn't you buy the soundtrack? Kalapa! Narita boy, I'm sorry not to be with you at this time. I must sustain the system of the Trichroma from the capital of the Digital Kingdom, close to its core. Him is dumping petabytes of corrupt code. On a subtle level, I am warding off his attacks. Beyond this door is the priest's portal. You must cross it. It will lead you to the Church of the Strange Monolith. This is a land of strange monoliths. I can't, I can't wait to see something that is specifically referred to as a strange fucking monolith. I am turgid with, with excitement. In this region, you'll find a new creator's memory. To reach the priest's portal, you'll need the excess techno key. The priests are prayer programs that keep the portal aligned. They entrusted the key to Baba, an ancient program slumbering near the castle. Find Baba and get the access key to the techno thing with techno key to the priest's portal. Visit Baba. Sick. Hi. I'm getting blues for this vibes. We pray, brother, because prayer redirects the data flow, stabilizes and synchronizes it with the trichroma. Prayer is algorithmic mysticism, answerable links, chemical electrodynamics, embracing the creator in myriad binary impulses. They're ready. I would like a table by the window. Next to the prudish gentleman and his family. You, the little girl, how much for the women? This monolith, completely common or garden. Nothing strange or startling at all. Too much techno for the Blues Brothers? I'm sure that the Blues Brothers could have could have worked techno into their uh, into their thing. The only the only genre that um, the Blues Brothers do not do is is reggae, and then Erica Badu had to say about that, and now they do reggae as well. So they could have put techno in there, I'm sure. There is nothing here. Um, right. Find Baba and get the access techno key to the priest portal. Where is... Where is Baba? Where am I? Okay. Are you Baba? Access to Baba's cave. Yo! Baba must be in here. Nice cape though, by the way. I haven't mentioned, but nice cape. Alrighty. Baba, I presume. Ah, I was sure of it. Narita boy. I always knew that Trichroma would distill its essence in barely 20 pixels of condensed power. In the source code I read, commented lines that made me suspect that a hero would be compiled to rebalance the beams of the Trichroma. And along with other programs, I have been awaiting you. They call us the Believers. Because they are not very original. But I digress. My brothers, who flourished in this cave, have gradually switched off. Only I, Baba, remain. A program who has always awaited you. A little creepy, but okay, it's nice to be needed. Before giving you the techno key you're after, I must ask of you a favor. 
recently since the arrival of him and his stallion forces, a suspicious portal event has appeared. Oh yeah. Can you help me investigate what it's all about? Maybe we'll have time to stop another outpouring of stallions in this region. We must contain them at all costs. Sure. This the portal, yeah? Alright. Yo. Yo. Seeing as how we're gone all uh, 80s vibe today, some of you probably aren't aware, um, it was announced today that there is a live action Thundercats movie on its way being directed by Adam Wingard, who, well, for me, he directed The Guest and You're Next, and then he started doing remakes and reboots and stuff, which I don't know how I feel about. He did The Guest, which I loved, he did You're Next, which I adored, and then he did Blair Witch, which I haven't watched yet, because I don't know how I feel about fucking with the Blair Witch lore. I started watching it one day, but I just wasn't in the mood for fan footage that day, I guess. But he made that, and then he directed um, Kong vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla vs. Kong. And now he's been, he's been signed on to direct the fucking Thundercats movie. With legendary pictures. Which, I mean... I don't know how I feel about it. Like I say, I loved his first two movies, but ever since he's gone Hollywood, I haven't really paid attention. So much. So it could be interesting. Could be interesting. Hell yeah! Everybody loves that song. Everybody loves the Mortal Kombat movie song. For crying out loud. It's like when when that when that fucking when that theme started playing during the Mortal Kombat uh, Mortal Kombat 11 trailers, people lost their fucking mind. Folks have been saying to fucking Ed Boon for years, why in fuck's name have you not used the movie's theme in any of the games since then? God damn it. But yeah, and they finally did. And they got the guy who played uh, Shang Tsung to play Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 11, which I loved. Did his voice and everything. Uh, it is, as no, it is. Um, the last... Was it... Was it, was it the last Godzilla movie? Godzilla Unleashed or something like that? That was actually directed by Mike, uh, Mike Doherty. Who was another fella who did um, a couple of movies that I loved to bits. He did um, he did Trick or Treat. And then he did Krampus. And then he did uh, the Godzilla movie. King of the Monsters. Which I've seen little bits and pieces of. At least the parts where the, uh, the monsters are there. I love the sort of like 80s... Or like the 70s, 80s. I love the I love I love the um the stylized special effects that I've seen from King of the Monsters. But um I've not watched the actual movie itself. Yeah, your next is fucking fantastic, man. The guest, if you haven't seen it as well, as well is fucking tremendous. Tremendous movie. Um I must watch Blair Witch though. Cause I love the original. I really do. I'm one of those people that just fucking... I dig how that movie goes about its business. It's a movie you have to pay attention to. Um, which is tough to pay attention to because, you know, shaky cam and all that. Some people literally can't fucking pay attention to it without feeling nauseous for crying out loud. Um, but yeah, I love the original, man. Accidentally inspired Boone to make Kano the best character in the whole series. Is he? I've not really been paying attention, truth be told. I paid attention a bit to 10. Um, I suppose I was paying attention to 10, uh, to 10 and 11. I saw like the, um, the story modes and whatnot. I don't know, man. Mortal Kombat 11, the writing in that, like, you can tell from the writing in that game, you can tell the people who worked on it, big fans of WWE. You can, I just, you can tell the dialogue, it's just, hmm. It's just got that WWE style offness about it. It's like, it's trying to be cool, but it's 
chronically uncool people trying to sound like cool badasses and it just doesn't work you know it's like oh my god a nerd wrote this dialogue not an inter interdimensional fighting warrior badass a nerd wrote this fucking dialogue and gave it to somebody to try to try and make it sound badass and they just they tried they tried as much as they could but they just didn't quite quite pull it off but yeah or i might have been in a mood that day <laughs> he was a bit of a cunt in that movie, wasn't he? <laughs> anyway, I have to admit, I'm not very excited about the new Mortal Kombat movie. I'll watch it because my niece wants to watch it, but it's against it's. It would be against my advisement, but I just don't roll like that anymore. Like five, ten years ago, I would have been like, "This looks like shit. Let's not bother." But God damn it, she wants to watch it, so I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna fucking like it too. Until she turns around at the end and says, that was shite. And then I'll be like, yep, absolutely. <laughs> then I'll open my big mouth. In case she wants to fucking enjoy that shit or something, you know? Horror dimension. Beta maximum prime. Indeed, beta maximum. Alright. What a jolly place this seems. I like this. You're forcing me to walk. Even better. Treat me rough, darling. Whoa. Ha <laughs> <laughs> You are the digital hero? How can him be scared of a sprite no bigger than 20 pixels in size? When I'm done with you and I bring him your techno sword, I'll sit at the table of the stallion commanders with my VHS mallet. You're going to learn the meaning of pain. I am Lord VHS, yes you are. One of the barons from the dimension of horror. Die. Meh. Uh-oh. I got this. Sick. Also, how are you doing, Jay? Uh oh, that's not JJ. That's Cat. Your name. Your name is a different color. You dirty swine! Hey. Oh, you better run. Where do you run to? Where do you run to? Hiroyuki Sonata? Who's he playing? Hey, he's a baron from the horror dimension. You're a baron from the horror dimension, it don't matter what your name is. You can call me whatever he wants. The CG looks great, does it? Hmm. He plays Scorpion? Oh yeah. I will say, I will say, I've heard it said in places, and I, and I agree with it, that I don't I don't care who plays Scorpion. I don't I don't care if you get a an 18-year-old Puerto Rican woman to play Scorpion. As long as that when that 18-year-old Puerto Rican woman says get over here, it's done with the voice of Ed fucking Boone. That's all I ask. I don't care how much fucking sense it makes. It makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if it's a fucking 95-year-old grandfather from fucking from fucking Viet Vietnam or fucking uh, Madagascar. I don't give a fuck who it is. If you're playing Scorpion and you say get over here, which you will, it should be said by Ed Boon. It should only ever be get over here or words to that effect. But uh, that's the only that's the only real criticism. I'll throw up the movie before I watch it other than gray filters. But yeah, it's got, it's gotta be. It's gotta be Ed Boon. He even said, get down here in the last one. They changed it up a bit, man. That's how you subvert expectations, Kathleen fucking, what's Kathleen Kennedy? Telling Kathleen Kennedy how to do her fucking business. This woman who has brought such movies as The Shawshank Redemption to my screen. I'm gonna give her shit because I didn't like three of the movies she made of the hundreds that she's had produced. 
I'll show her, goddammit. I'll show her not to have a perfect goddamn track record. hoo ha ha I arrived far less dramatically than I left. Hello. We appear to be done talking. Oh, hi. Ah, I knew it. Lord VHS, one of him's hitmen. A hybrid stallion programmed in the depths of the dimensions of horror. Thank you, Narita boy. Here's the techno key that will give you access to the priest's portal. Don't be scared to cross this portal. It will open the doors to the digital kingdom. If you saw the whoopin' I laid upon Lord Goddamn VHS, you would not think me afraid. Be strong, brother. Rest in power, live in light, maintain harmony, and suck it to him and his stallions. Hi. Cool. Use the techno key to access the priest's portal. Hey. Where, what, what's the priest portal? Where is that at? Alright. Don't even start with Kennedy? Nah. <laughs> nah. What do you want, man? She's a 50 odd year old career woman. You know? I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't really care about a 50 odd year old career woman's vision of Star Wars. I'd, I'd much rather, I'd much rather have a fucking, a, a lady in her 30s write and direct that shit than a woman in her 50s produce it and oversee it, you know? You know? It's like I was thinking earlier on, I was wondering to myself, what is the purpose of the gray filter? And I don't know, man, I don't know. I was wondering to myself, is, is the gray filter, is it kind of like the end of, you know that movie Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones? That really super cheesy ending at the end where everybody's covered in ash and the kid points is like looking for their parents and he's like he's looking around and they go to him little boy little boy where are your parents and he's looking around trying to find them but everybody's covered in ash and he goes they all look the same they they all look the same because racism yo but yeah i was wondering Maybe the gray filter is because, you see, I'm trying to look at it from the uh, perspective of an executive who only sees things in the realms of dollars and cents. And I remember, I remember the good old days in the 90s where, you know, folks, folks who weren't necessarily white could, you know, main event some fucking pictures, you know? We had, we had a bunch of like, you know, the, the likes of Chow Yun-Fats and Jackie Chans and Wesley Snipes and Denzels and whatnot. We don't really have an awful lot of stars. Well, I suppose we don't really have any stars anymore, let alone stars of color. But we don't have too many leading men and women of color. And I wonder if the gray filter is like, from a, a perspective of, a, uh, of an executive, the reason why we don't have an awful lot of stars or leading ladies or men of color is because they don't track very well in the box office and I was wonder wondering to myself if maybe that's why like as you see it with um what you call it Rogue One like that's diverse ethnic background the movie you know what I mean um like the leading man is Latino would that film have been so goddamn grey filtered to fuck if he wasn't Latino are they trying to fucking, like, you know, like that, that one scene in, in Bruce Lee where it's like, can you make sure he keeps the mask on? He's awful oriental. I don't fucking know. I don't know. And then I started thinking to myself, hmm, it's funny. You put, like, a person of color in the leading role and it doesn't do too well. But then you've got all these all these movies where it's like, not only do you have a person of color in the leading role, but you have a person of color directing and writing. And they usually do pretty good, but if you've got some white mofo putting words in, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to work out things I don't really have a full understanding of. I don't know. I guess at the end of the day, I'm just sick of gray filters, yo. 
And I kind of wish big expensive movies were put together with less of an idea as to what works financially and more of an idea of what works in terms of what would a human being do in this situation? As opposed to what would somebody who's afraid of losing the studio a shitload of money do in this situation? I don't know. Let's find the priest's portal. Are you the priest's portal? I'm guessing not. Grand Garden, higher rooms, perhaps Priest's Portal in the higher rooms? I pressed the button, goddammit. The timing? What timing? One of them is. You got the notification for your tweet about the gray filter in Bad Batch? You got a notification for my tweet? You got a notification for my tweet? Why would you get a notification for my tweet? You get notified when I tweet? Why? I don't tweet much at all. Much useful, anyway. Certainly nothing that's urgent in any way. Or requires notifications. I'm gonna do that again. See how pretty that is? God damn. Oh, God damn it. Rest in peace. I will, thank you. Oh, Jesus. Hi, how you doing? That's fine. Checked your tweets recently, and Twitter always sends notifications about the people you last checked. Really? Their algorithm is wacker than YouTube, eh? Fucking men, Reverend. Amen. Oh. I. I may have run past you before. I can't recall. Hell yeah, yeah. New environs. We haven't even got to the fucking meat of the matter yet, and it's pretty as hell. We have found the meat of the matter. I would certainly bow to that. I think if I was in the presence of this thing, I'm, I'm, I might... I might have to bow to that. I'm gonna interact with whatever this is. Good lord. The 
creator's tears. Okay. Yo. Purge and boogie, baby. I am never done when you're done. I am never done when you are done. I will be hoping for an extended mix of that fucking song. <laughs> Kinda need it. God damn, everything in this game is so pretty. Okay, folks, give me two seconds. I'm gonna take a quick break to refill my drink. And to expel this Louie that I've accidentally hacked. And I hope I didn't I hope it didn't show up on a... I hope it didn't show up on why am I talking about this? I'm gonna be back in just a few seconds. Here is my be right back screen. It kind of works. <laughs> it kind of works. I'll be right back, folks. Give me like 30 seconds. Boom, I am back. The credits better be Narita Boy cat jamming to this song. I kind of get the feeling, I kind of get the feeling that that might even be a spoiler. <laughs> that might be a prognostication spoiler right there. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if we got something very vaguely, vaguely familiar, vaguely similar to that. You'd almost be surprised if, the, if Homeboy didn't dance through the credits here. We shall see. We shall see. Access to the pregnant program. Okay. Access to the abode of Master Code Shifter. Excuse me. Master Basker at your services. Bunny! Access portal to the Forgotten Forest. Oh. Well. If that don't sound like a goddamn first destination, I don't know what does. Locked. What up, dude? Creator's tears, echoes of another land. The hero has now arrived, and that is why I sing to him. The priest awaits him, and also the toad that croaks in. The sh dark shadows of his abode, and a secret portal that observes the observer. Symbols of transcendency, jump patterns, and the waterfall from which pours the creator's tears. Kill. Cool. The Stag Master. Did you give yourself that name? Be honest. Narita Boy, welcome to the Creator's Tears. By axial metaphor of creation. I am the Stag Master, supervisor program of the Forgotten Forest. The Forgotten Forest lies beyond this portal. In the heart of the Forgotten Forest, you'll find Trifurcation, the path of three branches. Trifurcation and the access doors to the houses of Trichroma. You must journey through the houses to release the creator's memories. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, explore this region and liberate the creator's memory that emerges from its code. Once you've done this, seek out Master Code Shifter. 
He is a wise program from the Forgotten Forest who has the ability to compile animal forms. Like Techno Buddies? Like Techno Buddies. You must cross the Forgotten Forest in the form of Animal Code. It is that or nothing. This orange door leads to his abode, but there are various conditions you must fulfill so as not to break the region's code. One of these is to get hold of the access techno key. I thought you might say something like that. Find your animal form. Can I go to the Forgotten Forest, please? Aw. Oh. Alright then. The Healing Corridor. Is this arcade machine pregnant? Alright. Two and a half hours in, I am learning how to heal. I don't know how to feel about this, but I think I feel elated. <laughs> Animal form better be techno sheep. I think, regardless of what it is, I'm going to be quite, quite delighted. You've unlocked the Trichroma Power Bar. Charge up this bar by inflicting damage on stallions. Hold down energetic charge to trade a block of Trichroma Power for a life. Sick. Hit me, please. Thanks. That feels good, man. Feels real good. Mm -hmm. Howdy, God. Oh, goodbye. Ascension. Main path to the Creator's Tears. Game seems to be worth the wait so far. I, considering I just learned how to heal, I'm feeling like there's a whole lot of games still left to go. And if it, if it continues the way it has begun, it's going to be something very, very special indeed. Hmm. What is over here? Okay. <gasps> believe. I believe. Oh, fuck. Lie to me. I'll never trust again. Where am I? Why am I all the way over here?
Okay, I understand why you can go down there. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Sick. Baby, I still believe! The Alpha Tesseract. Ladybug! The Afflicted! I might be fucked here! Or not. Lucky bastard. Fucking sick, man. It's got frame drops like a motherfucker, but I just don't care. It's not affecting gameplay worth a damn. I don't care. Everything looks so goddamn good. It don't matter. Boy. Hot diggity damn. Howdy. We are the priestesses of the Church of the Strange Monolith. When the priest connected with the transcendental symbol, we asked Mother Board what it meant. She explained that the creator's tears were opening up the digital hero and we must come to this region. She said she would come and channel the priest's blue hexadecimal symbol. Since then, we've sustained his algorithms and his vigils are bathed in our prayers. Hey. Is he not well? Are these Doritos? These are Doritos, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's Dorito dust right there. My goodness, this is really bad. Good lord. More bowing. Done a thing. What? 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 What I do? Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. I don't know if I was supposed to do this yet, or if I'm sequence breaking, or, or what's happening. Hi, how are you? I, I made a thing happen. I don't know how to feel about it. Channel the priest's blue hexadecimal symbol. Well, I did that, I think. I think. His hexadecimal is blue? Hexadecimal symbol, you say? That was a blue beam, so I mean... It seems like, it seems like I, I must have... I feel like I, I might have done the thing, but... Well, you're welcome. See you later. Huh? Madness! Hi! What? 
Okay, this is some Tomb Raider bullshit. Like, original Tomb Raider. You put, like, you spend two and a half hours fumbling around in the fucking, in the nothingness, looking for goddamn whatever the fuck it is you're supposed to be looking for, whatever that could be. You finally find a lever, you pull the lever, and then it cuts to some place where a door opens. Where is this place? You don't fucking know. You spent two and a half hours looking for this fucking lever, now you have to spend another 45 minutes looking for the fucking door it just opened. Probably not that bad, but it's definitely giving me those vibes. And though I hated, hated those vibes back in the day, I kind of love them today. God damn, this is a pretty game. There's n there is no way I'm streaming this between 7 p.m. and 12 p.m. and I have to stream this with high bit rate or just we have to play something else. I will accept nothing less. This game deserves it. Believe. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Sick. I'd still prefer to be doing it with the D-pad, but the fact that I can do it makes me very happy. The creator's tears. Daddy bomb! <laughs> oh god. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Daddy bomb go down! a little boom hi no interacciones hmm Shotgun in the air? All right. These fucking bats, though. Never!
Ya bastard. Boom, baby. What the fuck? The fight is over, jackass. That was pretty sick. It's very quick. Demons for sales, you son of a bitch. My techno beam, bitch. Zoom. Beta Tesseract. Techno frogs. In due time, in due time. Ooh. New Buam Wams. There's a new Scott Pilgrim release coming? A new game? Game? Movie? Animated movie? Series? Comic? I know the game came out recently again, they got re-released. Finally, after however many years in licensing hell. I guess it makes sense that there's a new release coming. God damn it! Not today! Okay, maybe today. Tenth anniversary edition of the movie with better special effects. Oh. Oh. Really, Edgar Wright? Really? We're pulling a goddamn George Lucas, are we? Alright then. Okay. Shit. Techno Toad! Did it need better special effects? Well, considering all computer-generated special effects fucking suck. <laughs> Hello, this is Rob, and these are my, these are my blanket statements. Feel free to discredit at your leisure. The master code shifter has modified my croaking script so I can talk to you. I'd like to take this opportunity to say croak, which means good luck but also means yellow, joy, and happiness. Can you see my symbol? Find two more to transcend. A pen and a paper will help you if your memory's not up to it. Yeah, I, I, I see your symbol. I see your symbol. Hmm, right, left. Let me see here. Let me grab a pen. 
let me take off my headphones before I go looking for a pen. That would be a wise choice. I think so. I think so. I have procured a pen. Ba -ba -ba -do -do -ba -do -do -do. And also paper, just in case you were checking, you were, you were, you were wondering. Uh, let me see. So your symbol is the yellow the, the arrow thing. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Okay, yellow. Yellow. Cool. Does the fact that it's pointing to the right and also to the left, depending on which one you're looking at, have any sort of a uh, pertinent thing going on? I hope not. I hope not. Should be fine. But I don't I don't believe enough. Am I here for a reason? Okay. Alrighty. I get the rest of them. So the blue one is the three dots. Okay. So... What's the other color? Yellow, blue, and red, right? So there's gotta be a red one hidden somewhere. Okay. Alright, I get it. I understand. I think. Thank you. 
Hmm. Okay, so the red one is in the encryption portal thingy. Okay. We got this. I am. He's learning. Hello, lady. I am Meteora, Lady of the Waterfall, survivor program of the Creator's Tears, a root region in the Creator's Quantum Synesthesia. Quantum Synesthesia, all right. This is where the source code metaphors emerge. We study the Creator and guard one of his memories. Welcome. Okay. One second, please. Ho ho ho! Access to the, to the Zygotes Salon. Access to the Caves of the Eternal Binominal. Binomial. Binomial. Hi. How you doing? You want to chat? No? Locked. God damn it. Hello again. Alrighty. Got two of them open. Hmm. Yeah, I know you want me to go here, but this one is open too. Oh, we've been here. Shit. Thankfully, I have the choice to run and ignore. Fuck. Papa. Lesson learned. Do as you're told. Just wait for that siren to fuck off. A beautiful, beautiful spring day. One of the first spring days we've had. It's kind of nice to be able to sit here as it's getting dark with the windows open. Yo, Liam, what's going on, man? You thought the siren was outside yours? This is a good microphone, Jesus Christ. Good microphone. Well done. Not the best, though. Not the best. I think my next microphone... ...will kick its ass. But how are you, Liam? How's it going, my friend? That's a lot of goddamn sirens. How's the game? The game is amazing. It is not a fucking Metroidvania, though. So many games been labeled a Metroidvania when it's very clearly not a Metroidvania. But, um, it's got some of the Metroidvania trappings. The dash, in particular. But, um, yeah, it's fucking great, man. 
in terms of an audiovisual experience, it's there's nothing like it out there. Um, in terms of gameplay, it feels good. You know, it feels real damn nice. But yeah, it's been worth the wait, man. And I hyped the fuck out of this game for myself, and I'll be honest with you, earlier on today I thought to myself, I have hyped the fuck out of this game. I've had no choice but to do so, just looking and hearing and seeing what they've been doing with it and in trailers and whatnot, but I have hyped the fuck out of this game. I could be setting myself up for a hell of a disappointment, and... I ain't disappointed. Not by a long shot, my man. You can't even translate the Hungarian anymore? It's like two separate things entirely? That's so fucking cool, man. That's so cool. That's so weird. Like, I've always, like, I've often wondered, is there a point where you have to stop, like, actively translating from the learned language back into your, your native tongue? It's pretty cool, man. Who called it Metroidvania? Oh, you know, the Steam tags. The Twitch tags. It's actually weird. It's real. well, it's not weird. It's, it's just kind of painfully fucking bleh. But, um... If the game you're playing is auto-tagged with Metroidvania, then Metroidvania is a tag on Twitch. But if it's not auto-tagged with the Metroidvania, you can't just search for the Metroidvania tag. You can search for a whole bunch of things that you can argue till the cows come home whether or not they even should belong as a description for something on this website, but it is what it is and whatever, to each their own. But I wouldn't mind that these weird tags that are on there are on there if I had, you know, game genres. You know, at least some of the major ones. You could argue, I suppose, Metroidvania is not a major genre, but, I mean, it, it is among gamers. Among casual gamers, maybe not so much. But among fucking gamer-ass gamers like myself, Metroidvania is a big fucking deal, you know? The fact that it's not a tag that can be searched and applied manually on Twitch is kind of lame, I think. But yeah. The memories. I remember my first visit to the temple. The crickets were announcing another hot summer. The dampness of the mildew, the solemnity of something I sensed was eternal. I remember father lost in worry and the sweat beating on, the, on his forehead. Father! <laughs> I remember the smell of my grandfather's shaving cream and my grandmother's wrinkled hands, as well as her smell of decades of love and understand- as well as her smell of decades of love and understanding. Okay. Okay, that's a sentence. Moving on. The smell of her decades of... De okay. And I remember mother, especially mother, invoking the gods of the temple. Two hands clapping, a clicking noise, and then, suddenly, bowing down in fear and trembling to an infinite power from beyond the temple. Mama. Clap, clap. <gasps> I do the clap, clap. Clap, clap. Hey, I do the clap, clap. And then the bow. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, little friend. Liam? This is the space baby? Space baby? I mean, you probably already know Liam, but, you know, you know everything. Which must be exhausting, honestly. Um... Huh? 
Go left, you say? Sure thing. Genie hand from the Aladdin video game. Shiny. Zygote Salon. Well, that is indeed a zygote. How are you doing? Dare I ask. Mother program dumping lines of code, generating scripts for the chord function. Stabilized placenta, compiling. Harmonized amniotic fluid, zero errors found. Check, process completed. Okie dokie. I got the key. I will take it to, um, the abode of the master code shifter. Okay, see you later. Huh. No, nothing over here. All right. I really wouldn't mind being able to stroll through these environments. I think it bears repeating. I did a thing. Okay. Hey, look, it says the thing right there. Cool. Hmm. I didn't believe. Find the access techno key to the abode of the master code shifter. Where is the abode of the master code shifter to which I now have the key? Where could that be? Check out this blue, yo. Here's a little more. I'm about to step into a goddamn Commodore 64 loading screen. Guess I'm where I need to be. Oh shit, he's got a gun. And now I'm dead. Try again. Well, that explosion hurt the fuck out of me. Oh god. Thank <laughs> you. 
sick. Bong. Access to the pregnant program. Okie dokie. What could go wrong? Okay then. Here we are. What What is up, madam? How are you today? The trichroma is the genesis, the start and the end. Its beams are the source of life and the creator who, in turn, creates the beams of the trichroma. Infinite variables in an eternal loop. I harbor the seed of the trichroma. It transcends me and the cycle begins again. Alrighty. Alrighty. Bong. Bong. Abode of the master shapeshifter. Um. Isn't this where I'm supposed to go? Hello. Got a blue key. I kind of thought I had the access key. Huh. Where the hell else is there to go? Hi. Is an eternal time loop thing? I don't know. Kind of overwhelmed by the audiovisual experience. I haven't had a chance to really sort of even slightly attempt to make sense of what's going on. Okay, so where do I take the blue key then? Bah! See access to the caves of the eternal binomial. Hi. Beware of the water simulation. Its density could drag you into an infinite loop of degradation. Nope. Just the usual. Just the usual. Sorry to disprove you immediately, but you know. Never mind. 
Impala. Holy suffering Jesus Christ, he hits hard. Get fucking oh dear. Bats are hard to hit. No right. <laughs> the boat is a lie. Selma's on sale? I think I own Selma. Not really. I believe I was given it for free. That and Observer. Two games I think I need to play. I hear good things. But yeah, no, I do remember that game. I don't think I've seen very much footage of it at all. But I have heard good things. Oh, wow. Source code. Debug, log, refreshing sensitive case. An irreparable loss. The pain of absence. A door in the system. A weakness in the code. Come back. Find your animal form to cross the Forgotten Forest. The boat is still alive. a nice nostalgia trip didn't that game come out like three years ago for if even that that's nostalgia three years i don't know if i can have nostalgia for thing for something that's only three years old i think it's got to be around a little bit longer than that but then then again maybe i don't know i suppose it depends depends how much of an impact something had on you Where the hell do I go? Find my animal form.
What? Six years old? Soma is? 2015? Really? Get the fuck out of here. Hi. Okay. Fuck. Okay, you're just the solution to a problem. Not the one I'm looking for, though. You are not my animal form, to the best of my knowledge. So where the hell is it I'm supposed to go? Can't even climb on this. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, if you don't hold the direction, it just goes backwards. Okay. fella? Were you waiting for me? Or did I startle you? Congratulations! You've done it! You fulfilled all the region's conditions. You must have learned a lot in the Creator's Tears. It's a place of worship and study for programs from the, from the Digital Kingdom. But the teachings to one side... But teachings to one side, you've come to find your animal form. The Stag Master told me all about it. While I compile your animal form, I must entrust you with a mission, oh god. There's a stallion portal forming behind my back. You don't have to be very clever to guess him's intentions. He wants to control this region and, if possible, destroy the access totem to the creator's memories. So, I suggest we get ahead of things and you cross the portal and eradicate the stallion menace. Eliminate stallion threat, alright. Cool. Behind you, you say. You mean over here? Oh. Indeed. Glaucoma's abode. This is Glaucoma's abode. Oh, okie dokie. Are you Glaucoma? You are. <gasps> bloop bloop. What are you doing here? How did you find this portal? Bloop. Lord Him will be very happy to see that the prey has come looking for its hunter. 
he'll generously blop reward me when I erase your stinking code. I'm Glaucoma, Stallion General. Prepare to die. Bloop. Oh. Block my ass. Okie dokie. I see. Okay, I don't see. How do? Hmm. Alrighty. He seems pissed. Shit. That. Blop, blop my ass. Blop. Yeah. I don't blop his ass. Praise me. Did I find my animal form? I knew it. I knew it. I could smell glaucoma, that nauseating stallion general. His power could have done a lot of damage to this region. Many thanks, Narita boy. I'm just finishing off compiling your animal form. Hold on. Alrighty then. Thanks.
I did the things. You've done it, Narita boy. You can now give free reign to your animal form and cross the portal of the Forgotten Forest. The Trichroma is strong in you, digital hero. Indeed. I'm a techno stag. Powerful legs and a broad chest. Well, it's pure chewing satisfaction. For the next couple of people. Look at me prancing. What a weird game. Indeed, cat. Indeed. I'm starting to think the stag master might have been a former knight of knee. See how splendid you look. The great stag is your animal form. Ah, it's a pity that we're in a hurry and I don't have time to trot alongside you through the Forgotten Forest. I shall take you to the waterfalls of the Eternal Dump, and between the rocks we shall arrive at Lake Array, our abstract waters that emanate from the underground springs of the Blue House Beam. So they say. Narita boy, it's time for you to abandon your animal form. From this region of bites onwards, you can proceed as a hero. Once you cross the Power Up Cave, you'll be very close to Trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. However, you must liberate the creator's memory. It's been in our forest since before tree scripts existed. <laughs> These prompts, man. Head for Trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. Liberate the creator's memory. Tron on acid? Yeah. If Tron was made in the 60s with tech from the 90s, maybe. I don't know. I don't even think that covers it. I think this is just a melting pot of several people's childhoods all rolled into one. One glorious pixelated mixture of gloriousness. Oh man. All right then. Praise him. Shoulder bash. Or B. You can use Shoulder Bash to break through digital walls, use it in the air to cover more distance, you can also use it to scatter some enemies. Okay, so I was a little bit pissed off that the dash button was on the LB, but now I've got a dash that does damage on the RB. 11 out of 10. You can access the power up menu at any time from the power in game. Okay. They've got different sounds. Wait a second. Oh, you can't do both in the air. Bullshit. Fucking so good. Oh, it feels good to do that. Oh my god. Oh. Sick. Bones.
Let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him. Okay, I just got assaulted by a man on a crucifix. That's a first. Keep doing the wrong one. Okay, so the RB, the shoulder bash, will leave you on the same side of an opponent. You cannot go through them. Remember this. Son of a bitch. Merit. So embarrassing. <laughs> so satisfying. Trifurcation path. Hey, friendo. Dorita boy. I've run all the way from trifurcation to warn you. Him has sent Black Rainbow. <laughs> Fucking Beyond the Black Rainbow? Because I've been thinking about watching Beyond the Black Rainbow all the way through this last hour or two. I'm getting some serious Beyond the Black Rainbow vibes. I think you might be a fan of that movie. If you're not, you should definitely fucking watch it, you weirdos. Why haven't you seen it? Anybody else watching as well? Beyond the Black Rainbow? If you like fucking weird for the sake of weird and movies that just kind of get you in a way that you can't quite explain Beyond the Black Rainbow, baby. The first movie from the man who directed Mandy. And I love it to bits. If you like the, uh the vibes you're getting in this game, I mean, they're not quite the same, but they're kind of similar. Trippy, 80s, phantasmagoric, good stuff. You must stop her, but be careful. She's dangereux. She's not stallion code. Her script was weaved in the dimensions of horror where him set up his abode after being expelled from the Digital Kingdom. Once you're done with her, follow that path and you'll come to Trifurcation, the opening of the Three Portals. Defeat Black Rainbow, alrighty. Hell yeah. Ah, is that yourself, yeah? You, shh, don't speak. I can read you, brightness of the trichoma. I smell you, condensed purity, sickening. Listen, do you hear me? Shh, you're going to die. Probably. Boy, you pretty. Holy sweet Jesus! Okay, do not want. Okay, do I have iframes or not on my dash? I don't think I do. Hi! My goodness. Man. Hello. What the fuck? That works. 
That works less so. There's a slowdown before she does it. All right. Fuck it. Oh, I just wanted to see what happened. God damn it, I do not have iframes. Voice. Okay, that does hurt. Good to know. Jumping helps. Take that, ya yeah, bitch! Oh, Jesus! Okay, I'm sorry I called you a bitch. It's just it's the heat of the moment, and you're very scary. I'm sorry. Yeah! Quench! Ah, yo. Okay. All right. Shush your face! Oh yeah. That's you fucking dealt with there, then. Don't mind fucking saying it myself. Alright. Yes, what the hell. Say what the hell again. I bet the fuck out of that what the hell is what I did. I stared straight into the eye of that what the hell and said, Nuh-uh. Not today, what the hell. How's it going? There's nine more. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm so happy. It just kept going on and on, and there was more and more memories, and I just got happier the longer it went. Hell yeah. Well, doesn't this look swanky? I remember that day. A day that dawned immersed in happiness. I remember an intense smell of embers, my father and his American partners celebrating the signing of an important contract in Japan. King Swankosaurus! Little Timmy- oh! 
It was when I walked into the kitchen looking for some iced tea and saw Mother lying on the floor in a pool of blood and noodles. Yeah, we could go out that door. We could totally do that. Oh shit, we have no choice. Huh. Where are you bringing me to? Oh, we are not done with that. Oh, not by a long stretch. There were definitely more options. Oh. I remember playing baseball with my grandfather while my grandmother and mother prepared one of my favorite dishes. Mm -hmm. I remember realizing that morning that perfect moments don't last forever. Alrighty. Quickly relive this horrifying thing one more time. There we go. Moving on. Pardon me. One step ahead of the bread line. One two do 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roger Waters. The Synth Sensei. Son of Trichoma, you're here at last. I've composed many verses with you in mind. You've been my source of inspiration ever since I detected your arrival in the code reviews. I'm the Synth Sensei, the Bard of Trifurcation. I play musical code and entertain traveling programs who pass by on their way to the opening of the three portals. They in turn regale me with tales of their travels, houses, and distant regions in the digital kingdom, and I synthesize it all into musical algorithms. So I have become a bard, a narrator who, through music, shares the experiences of the millions of portal nods who cross my path. When you complete your mission, I will compose the final verse, the one that tells of your deeds and victories. I hope that when this is all over, You'll sit down with me, and I can play for you, while you tell me of your adventures. Together we'll rejoice in a celebration of harmonic synthesis. Kinky. But now you must reach Trifurcation and cross the portals of the Trichroma Beam. Once you've liberated the creator's memories from the three houses, come back and see me. With your updated code and my techno key compiled with that new code, I'll give you access to the portal of the capital of the digital kingdom. Alright. I, I caught all of that. 
perfect BRB screen right there? Yep. Pretty much. If you could remove the player character? Just like remove the player character? And have my boy here? Doing his thing? Perfect. How you doing? Mother? Narita boy, you've done it. You're here already. You've reached Trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. Below this region, the trichroma beams rise up to the surface collision. When I wrote the system architecture, the creator generated some scripts to tie together all the regions of the digital kingdom. A shortcut between houses to navigate more efficiently and dump data in a quicker and more... Uh, and simpler way. It's an intuitive code, just how the creator likes them. Elegant, yet precise. The programs of the Digital Kingdom use it all the time to move around the Digital Kingdom. Digital Kingdom, 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 uh -huh. Digital Kingdom, Digital Kingdom. Now it's your turn in the Digital Kingdom. You need to penetrate the portal of the Yellow House Beam. King Numstre, the horseman, and his programs need you. They're in danger, as are the creator's memories that are resting there. Go carefully. From this point onwards, things are going to get complicated. Him no longer underestimates you. You've disposed of several of his generals, and he no longer sees you as a human child dressed in a pixel costume. Good to know. You're the chosen one, the bearer of the Techno Sword, son of Trichroma, liberator of the creator's memories. You are Narita Boy! <laughs> we'll see each other again in the capital, your final step on the road. When you come see me, your code will be even more powerful. Be strong, Narita boy, because when you reach the capital, you must confront him. Yeah. Oh shit. Whoops. I see. Why are you wearing that stupid pixel suit? All right. All right. Um. Hmm. I'm going to call it a day at that, folks. Sorry to not go longer, but I think that's a good a good place to leave it out. I will be back tomorrow morning. Uh, well, morning for some of you. Probably afternoon, my time. But, um, unlike today, where I only streamed after, after dinner, I will stream after breakfast and after dinner tomorrow. Catch a guess of what I might be playing. Um, I will indeed be playing a lot more of this because this game is very much living up to expectation. Apart from the whole Metroidvania thing, it's not one of those. Definitely not. Maybe it's a Metroid-like or something, <laughs> or a Castlevania-like. I think it's more... I think this has more in common with Another World than it does anything else, man. Another World with really funky, awesome combat, man, that I very much enjoy. You too, Cat. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, Puyo, it it really does feel good, man. It's not particularly challenging, and even even the odd time you do lose, you instantly get to retry, kind of a thing. I really like it, man. It's funky, it's cruisy, it's vibey, it's everything I love. 
even though I can't quite describe what it is that I love. Despite the fact that it, despite that fact, it, it manages to be all that I love. But yeah. I'm gonna leave you with this tune, folks. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Have yourselves a good evening, a good afternoon, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll catch you next time. Until next time, have a good one, folks.